Expand your vocabulary with our Core 2000 Words eBook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Swedish eBook before it's gone. Do you feel like you don't speak enough Swedish? That you need to know more words? Then stick around. With these lessons, you'll pick up some of the most common words in just a few minutes. Now, this video is a small portion of our learning program. To get the full lessons, translations, and fluency fast study tools, click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. In this lesson, you'll learn how to ask where something is located. After watching this video, you'll be able to ask for directions. Now let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Var är snabbköpet? Det är där borta. Once more with the English translation. Var är snabbköpet? Where is the supermarket? Det är där borta. It's over there. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say, where is place? The pattern is, var är place. For example, where is the supermarket? Var är snabbköpet? Var är snabbköpet? Now, how do you answer this question? Det är där borta. Listen to it again. Det är där borta. Det är där borta. This Swedish sentence literally translates as It is there away. But it means it's over there. Here are a few more places you can use with the same pattern. The supermarket. Mataffären. Mataffären. The supermarket. Mataffären. The bank. Banken. Banken. The bank. Banken. The store. Affären. Affären. The store. Affären. The school. Skolan. Skolan. The school. Skolan. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Var är banken? Det är där borta. Where is the bank? Var är banken? It's over there. Det är där borta. Var är affären? Det är där borta. Where is the store? Var är affären? It's over there. Det är där borta. Var är skolan? Det är där borta. Where is the school? Var är skolan? It's over there. Det är där borta. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, where is place? Var är place? And how do you answer it? Det är där borta. Imagine you're looking for the bank. Do you remember how to say the bank? Banken. Banken. Say, where is the bank?
Var är banken? Now ask where the bank is and answer saying the bank is over there. Var är banken? Det är där borta. Now imagine you're looking for the store. Do you remember how to say the store? Affären. Affären. Say where is the store? Var är affären? Now ask where the store is and answer saying the store is over there. Var är affären? Det är där borta. Now imagine you're looking for the school. Do you remember how to say the school? Skolan. Skolan. Say, where is the school? Var är skolan? Now, ask where the school is and answer saying the school is over there. Var är skolan? Det är där borta. In this lesson, you learned new vocabulary and phrases you can use in your everyday life to ask the location of a place. You're now able to ask for directions like a native speaker. Start by practicing in the comments below. Ask your fellow learners directions to a place. Lastly, don't forget to click the link in the description and download your PDF cheat sheets. You'll get useful phrases you need for everyday life for free. See you in the next lesson. Bye! Remember, here's what you can do to learn all of these words by heart. Drill these words with our spaced repetition flashcards, which will help cement these words into your long-term memory. Save them to the word bank, your personal vocabulary collection, where you can print out your own study sheets, or review the words with our looped vocabulary slideshow and play it until you know all of the words. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to get these lessons and study tools. In this video, you learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Swedish. Hi everybody, my name is Emma. Welcome to the 800 core Swedish words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Swedish. But there's a twist, which each new lesson in this series will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you learned the new words and phrases, Stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at SwedishPod101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck and finally master Swedish. Okay, let's get started. First is, hey. Hello. Hey. Hey. Hello. Människorna sa det hej. The people said hello. Människorna sa det hej. Ursäkta mig. Excuse me. Ursäkta mig. Ursäkta mig. Excuse me. Ursäkta mig, vilken är nästa? Excuse me, which is next? Ursäkta mig, vilken är nästa? Jag är ledsen. I'm sorry. Jag är ledsen. Jag är ledsen. I'm sorry. Jag är ledsen. Men jag har en fråga. I am sorry, but I have a question. Jag är ledsen. Jag är ledsen. Men jag har en fråga. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Vi hörs snart. Good night. I'll talk to you soon. Good night. Vi hörs snart. Trevligt att träffas. Nice to meet you. Trevligt att träffas. 
trevligt att träffas. Nice to meet you. Det är alltid trevligt att träffa dig. It's always nice to meet you. Det är alltid trevligt att träffa dig. Hur mår du? How are you? Hur mår du? Hur mår du? How are you? Hej, hur mår du? Hello, how are you? Hej, hur mår du? Ja. Yes. Ja. Ja. Yes. Ja, det gör jag. Yes, I do. Ja, det gör jag. Nej. No. Nej. Nej. No. Nej, hon är en ingenjör. No, she's an engineer. Nej, hon är en ingenjör. Tack. Thank you. Tack. Tack. Thank you. Det är bara bra tack. It's just fine, thank you. Det är bara bra tack. Jag heter. I'm. Jag heter. Jag heter. I'm. Jag heter Alexandra. I am Alexandra. Jag heter Alexandra. Hej då. Goodbye. Hej då. Hej då. Goodbye. Hej då. Ha det så bra. Goodbye. Take care. Hej då. Ha det så bra. Dålig. Bad. Dålig. Dålig. Bad. Maten är dålig. The food is bad. Maten är dålig. Bra. Good. Bra. Bra. Good. Grönsaker är bra för dig. Vegetables are good for you. Grönsaker är bra för dig. Söt. Pretty. Söt. Söt. Pretty. Din klänning är söt. Your dress is very pretty. Din klänning är söt. Ful. Ugly. Ful. Ful. Ugly. Det där är en väldigt ful hund. That is a very ugly dog. Det där är en väldigt ful hund. Lätt. Easy. Lätt. Lätt. Easy. Jag vaknar väldigt lätt. I wake up very easily. Jag vaknar väldigt lätt. Svår. Difficult. Svår. Svår. Difficult. Provet på onsdag kommer att vara svårt. Wednesday's test will be difficult. Provet på onsdag kommer att vara svårt. Nära. Near. Nära. Nära. Near. Jag bor nära universitetet. I live near the university. Jag bor nära universitetet. Långt. Far. Långt. Långt. Far. Stationen är långt härifrån. The station is far from here. Stationen 
är långt härifrån. Liten, smal, liten, liten, smal. Bilen är liten, men den är mycket kraftfull. The car is small, but it's very powerful. Bilen är liten, men den är mycket kraftfull. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at swedishpod101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time. Hej då. Welcome to SwedishPod101.com's Svenska på tre minuter. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Swedish. Hej, jag heter Elin. Trevligt att träffas. Hi, I'm Elin. Nice to meet you. In this series, we're going to learn basic Swedish expressions. It's super easy and it only takes three minutes. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to introduce yourself in Swedish. There are only two sentences you need. Hej, jag heter Elin. Trevligt att träffas. Hi, I'm Elin. Nice to meet you. Hej, jag heter Elin. Trevligt att träffas. Start by saying, hej, jag heter. Then say your name. Hej, jag heter Elin. Finally say, trevligt att träffas. Hej, jag heter Elin. Trevligt att träffas. And now let's see the same sentence in a different format. Hallå, Elin. Trevligt att träffas. Hello, Elin. Nice to meet you. Hallå, Elin. Trevligt att träffas. So, what a change from the previous introduction. Let's take a close look at this together. Hey has been substituted with an alternative greeting. Hallå. Swedish for hello. Jag heter Elin has been shortened to just Elin. In this sentence, it's implied that I am introducing myself as Elin. In a formal setting, you would say your full name. One more time. One way to introduce yourself in Swedish is Hej, jag heter Elin. Trevligt att träffas. An alternative way to introduce yourself is Hallå, Elin. Trevligt att träffas. Now it's time for Elin's insights. When you introduce yourself, it's a good habit to shake hands in Sweden. It's more common to use Hej, jag heter Elin. Trevligt att träffas. When you introduce yourself once. In front of a group of people or one single person. If you greet several people individually, you use the short phrase Hej, Elin. Trevligt att träffas. Do you know how to say thank you in Swedish? You'll learn how to say this and many other words in the next Svenska på tre minuter lesson. Tack, vi ses då. See you then. Hej! Hej, jag heter James. Vad heter du? Jag heter Anders. Kul att träffas. Ja, kul att träffas. Det är fest ikväll här, eller? Ja, just det. Vi ses på festen. Ja, absolut. Jag heter Elin. Hi everybody, I'm Elin. Welcome to SwedishPod101.com's Svenska på tre minuter. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Swedish. In the last lesson, we learned how to be grateful to people by saying tack. In this lesson, we learned some of the most common greetings used in Sweden. Är ni redo? Are you ready? Så låt oss börja. Så let's start. The most commonly used informal greeting is Hej. Hey. Hey means hi. We use it when we meet people. We can use this greeting with anyone. Yet, it isn't the only way to greet someone. We also have hallo. Hallo. Which means hello. And more time specific greetings like god dag. God dag. Literally, god dag means good day. As a rule of thumb, we can use god dag only during the daytime, from morning until evening. During the evening we say god kväll. God kväll. 
Kväll is Swedish for evening. So god kväll means good evening. Finally, in the morning we say god morgon. God morgon. This means good morning. However, instead of god dag and god kväll, it's much more common to just use hej. Good morgon, on the other hand, is still the most common phrase to use in the morning. When saying goodbye, we say hej då. Hej då. When parting for a long time, we often add ha det bra. Ha det bra, which means be well. Finally, in Swedish, we have an expression meaning see you soon that can be considered both formal and informal. Vi ses. Vi ses. Now you can greet people in many different ways in Swedish. Let's review them all again. When meeting friends or someone we don't know. Hej. There also is hallå. In the morning, god morgon. During the day, god dag. And in the evening, god kväll. When leaving, we say hej då. When leaving, but want to imply see you soon. Vi ses. To which we sometimes add ha det bra or be well. It's easy, isn't it? Now it's time for Elin's insights. In formal situations, Swedish people commonly greet each other by shaking hands. However, if we meet someone we are very friendly with, we hug. Swedish people are generally shy and might not take the initiative to hug. But don't be afraid to do it, it's always appreciated. During the next lesson, we'll learn the meaning of the phrase Tala du engelska. Do you already know it? I'll be waiting to talk about it with you in our next Svenska på tre minuter lesson. På återseende! In the last lesson, we learned the most common forms of greetings in Swedish. Do you remember them? In this lesson, we're going to learn a very useful phrase. Do you speak English? If you find yourself in a situation where you need assistance in English, this phrase can be a lifesaver. And because you're asking it in Swedish, you can be sure that everyone will understand what you're saying even if their answer is no. Here's the most common way to say it. Talar du engelska? Talar du engelska? Swedish is a pretty straightforward language. We conjugate verbs based on time, which means we have past, present and infinitive. The question, talar du engelska, translates as Are you speaking English? As in English, speaking is the present tense, talar. The second word in the sentence, du, simply means you. And you probably recognize engelska to be English. Talar du engelska? Like in English, there are a whole bunch of ways to ask this question. Let's see another one. It literally means, do you know English? Kan du tala engelska? Kan du tala engelska? When asking this question to someone you don't know, begin by saying, ursäkta mig. Or, excuse me. Ursäkta mig, kan du tala engelska? Ursäkta mig, kan du tala engelska? As you might have noticed, the verb tala is slightly different than talar. Remember, the verb changes depending on the time it is in. We are now talking about the infinitive since it is coupled with kan, which means can. The responses you will receive could be one of these three. Ja. Yes. Ja. Lite. A little. Lite. Nej, jag talar inte engelska. No, I don't speak English. Nej, jag talar inte engelska. Since this last one is a negative statement, we need to put inte after the verb talar. Inte means not. Jag talar inte engelska literally translates into I speak not English. Now it's time for Elin's insights. For those of you who are not just English speakers, you can obviously use this question with any language you need. Swedish people study other European languages at school, so maybe you will get lucky. Just substitute engelska with italienska for Italian, franska for French, spanska for Spanish, Tyska for German. In this lesson, we mentioned the expression Ursäkta mig. But did you know that this could also be used as an apology? In the next lesson, we will learn this and other ways to apologize in Swedish. 
I'll see you in our next Svenska på 3 minuter lesson. På återseende! In this video, you learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Swedish. Hi everybody, my name is Emma. Welcome to the 800 core Swedish words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Swedish. But there's a twist, which each new lesson in this series will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at SwedishPod101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck and finally master Swedish. Okay, let's get started. First is... Idag. Today. Idag. Idag. Today. Hon ser väldigt ledsen ut idag. She looks really sad today. Hon ser väldigt ledsen ut idag. Igår. Yesterday. Igår. Igår. Yesterday. Jag tog en dag ledigt igår. I took a day off yesterday. Jag tog en dag ledigt igår. Imorgon. Tomorrow. Imorgon. Imorgon. Tomorrow. Imorgon är det min födelsedag. Tomorrow is my birthday. Imorgon är det min födelsedag. Vecka. Week. Vecka. Vecka. Week. Det är sju dagar på en vecka. Det är seven days in a week. Det är sju dagar på en vecka. År. Year. År. År. Year. Ett kalenderår. One calendar year. Ett kalenderår. Sekund. Second. Sekund. Sekund. Second. Det är 58 sekunder kvar på stoppburet. There are 58 seconds left on the stopwatch. Det är 58 sekunder kvar på stoppburet. Minut. 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 Det är en minut till midnatt. It's one minute to midnight. Det är en minut till midnatt. Timme. Hour. Timme. Timme. Hour. Jag kommer hem från jobbet om en timme. I'll be home from work in an hour. Jag kommer hem från jobbet. Om en timme. Klocka. Klock. Klocka. Klocka. Klock. Väggklockan hänger på väggen. The wall clock is hanging on the wall. Väggklockan hänger på väggen. Klockan. A clock, klockan, klockan, a clock. Dina vänner kom klockan sju. Your friends came at seven o'clock. Dina vänner kom klockan sju. Kalender, 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 kalender. Jag markerade vår årsdag i kalendern. 
and marked our anniversary on the calendar. Jag markerade vår årsdag i kalendern. Måndag, Monday, måndag, måndag, Monday. Arbetsveckan börjar på måndag. The work week starts on Monday. Arbetsveckan börjar på måndag. Tisdag, Tuesday, tisdag, tisdag, Tuesday. Första januari infaller på en tisdag i år. Januari först falls on a Tuesday this year. Första januari infaller på en tisdag i år. Onsdag. Wednesday, onsdag, onsdag, Wednesday. Vi spelar poker hos mig på onsdagarskvällar. Wednesday nights, we play poker at my house. Vi spelar poker hos mig på onsdagarskvällar. Torsdag, Thursday, torsdag, torsdag. First day. Imorgon är det onsdag och i övermorgon är det torsdag. Tomorrow is Wednesday and the day after tomorrow is Thursday. Imorgon är det onsdag och i övermorgon är det torsdag. Fredag. Friday. Fredag. Fredag. Friday. Skriv ner planerna för fredag i kalendern. Write the plans for Friday on the calendar. Skriv ner planerna för fredag i kalendern. Lördag. Saturday. Lördag. Lördag. Saturday. Jag gör hushållsarbete i fem timmar varje lördag. I do housework every Saturday for five hours. Jag gör hushållsarbete i fem timmar varje lördag. Söndag. Sunday. Söndag. Söndag. Sunday. Det är fars dag på söndag. Sunday is Father's Day. Det är fars dag på söndag. Göra. Du. Göra. Göra. Du. Jag har så mycket jobb att göra. I have so much work to do. Jag har... Så mycket jobb att göra. Gå. Go. Gå. 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 Gå till parken. Go to the park. Gå till parken. Well done! In this lesson you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at SwedishPod101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you need for daily life conversations. You also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources. See you next time! Hej då! Hej James! Hur är det? Bra, tack! James, varifrån kommer du? Jag kommer från England och varifrån i Sverige kommer du? Jag kommer från Linköping. Var i Göteborg bor du? Jag bor i Kallbäck och du? Jag bor i stan nära till universitetet. Jag bor i en tvåa med min tjej. Hur bor du? Jag bor på hotell just nu. Ursäkta Anders men jag måste till bussen nu. Okej, okay, vi ses. Hej då. Vi ses. Hej! 
Jag heter Elin. Hi everybody, I'm Elin. Welcome to SwedishPod101.com's Svenska på tre minuter. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Swedish. In the last lesson, we learned some words used when apologizing in Swedish, including ursäkta and förlåt. In this lesson, we're going to learn numbers in Swedish. Yes, numbers! Nummer! From one to ten. And you are going to learn them in only three minutes. Tre minuter. Are you ready? Let's start. Ett. Ett. Två. Två. Tre. Tre. Fyra. Fyra. Fem. Fem. Sex. Sex. Sju. Sju. Åtta. Åtta. Nio. Nio. Tio. Tio. Okej, okay, now repeat after me. I say the numbers and give you time to repeat each one. Ett. Två. Tre. Fyra. Fem. Sex. Sju. Åtta. Nio. Tio. Great job! What is before ett? Do you know? It's noll. The number zero. Noll. You don't have any more excuses. Now you can give your friends your cell phone number in Swedish. Let's try together. We we'll use the phrase mitt nummer är, which means my number is. Mitt nummer är. Mitt nummer är 221358874. Can you read it by yourself? Två, två, ett, tre, fem, åtta, sju, fyra. Perfect! Now it's time for Elin's insights. Sometimes in Swedish lunch restaurants you get a number after ordering your food. When your food is ready, they will call your number. Nummer ett, nummer två, and so on. Learn your numbers well so you can be ready. Your task is now to practice the numbers we studied in this lesson, from 1 to 10. Vi ses nästa gång! We're going to learn how to go shopping in Sweden. Before we go, you need to know how to say, how much is it? Hur mycket kostar det? Hur mycket kostar det? Are you ready to go shopping in Sweden? Let's go! When you see something you like and want to ask the shop clerk how much it costs, The first thing to say is, ursäkta. Do you remember what that means? That's right, excuse me. Ursäkta, hur mycket kostar den? Ursäkta, hur mycket kostar den? Now in Swedish, if you're asking about the price of an object, you put either den or det at the end of the sentence, depending on the object you are asking about. There is no rule for when to use den or det. You just have to learn word by word. However, don't worry. Swedes will understand perfectly even if you use the wrong one. Ursäkta, hur mycket kostar det? Ursäkta, hur mycket kostar det? Except for den and det, there is one more pronoun you can use. When pointing at pairs or a bundle of something, you change the pronoun to dem. Ursäkta, hur mycket kostar dem? Excuse me. How much do these cost? Ursäkta, hur mycket kostar de? At this point, the shop clerk can answer by saying Den kostar, det kostar, or det kostar. For example, Den kostar 55 kronor. Det kostar 55 kronor. Or, det kostar 55 kronor. Note that the word de turned into det when put in front of the object. What number is 55? I'm not telling you. Okay, okay, it's 55. 
It cost 55 kronor. Now it's time for Elin's insights. The pronoun you will use most often is det, because not only is it used to ask prices of objects, but also services, like getting a haircut. So get used to asking, hur mycket kostar det? Hur mycket kostar det? At this point, can you count kronor in Swedish? We're going to learn how to do this and much more in our next Svenska på 3 minuter lesson. Ses nästa gång! Hej, jag heter Eva och kommer från Polen. Vad heter du? Mitt namn är James. Jag är engelsman och du är polack. Ursäkta, men vad betyder det? På svenska säger man polack till folk från Polen och till mig från England, engelsman. Jasså, det visste jag inte. Så jag är polack. Och till folk från Sverige, vad säger man då? De kallas för svenskor. Jaha, jag hoppas jag får träffa många av dem snart. Hej, jag heter Elin. Hi everybody, I'm Elin. Welcome to SwedishPod101.coms svenska på tre minuter. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Swedish. In the last lesson we learned the phrase Hur mycket kostar det? How much is it? In this lesson, let's see how we can answer that question by counting money in Swedish. In Sweden, the currency is kronor. Please pay attention to this first pronunciation. Kronor. Let's try to say prices in Swedish. Start by saying 26 kronor and 50 öre. 26 kronor och 50 öre. 26 kronor och 50 öre. Öre is the lowest Swedish currency value. However, as of 2012, the öre, which means cent, has been discontinued as a physical coin and now only exists in digital currency like credit cards or internet shopping. So, you will encounter öre on price tags and such. The two most common values of öre you will encounter is 50 and 90. Let's try another example. 39 kronor and 50 öre. 39 kronor och 50 öre. 39 kronor och 50 öre. Get ready for the next example. This one is longer. 199 kronor and 90 öre. 199 kronor och 90 öre. 199 kronor och 90 öre. That takes a lot of effort to say, doesn't it? You can make it easier by not saying öre or kronor. Like this. 199 och 90. 199 and 90. This is actually the most common way to talk about monetary amounts. The word kronor is mainly used with even numbers like 10, 50, 100, 1000 and so on. Now it's time for Elin's insights. You will most likely hear the last short form from shop clerks. It's easier and quicker to use. Also, remember that even though the öre doesn't exist as a physical coin anymore, it does exist in prices. So when paying with cash, you round up or down to the closest one krona. Now that you know about currency, you should ask your friends in Sweden if they want to go shopping with you to practice these phrases. The first, you will have to check if they have other plans or not. Do you know how to do that in Swedish? If not, I'll see you in the next Svenska på tre minuter. Vi ses nästa gång. You've studied for a while and are ready to talk to people and practice what you've learned. But where do you start? Starting a conversation in a new language can seem a bit intimidating. How do you just jump into it? In this video, we'll look at five ways to start conversations. Number one, introduce yourself in your target language. This is usually one of the first things you learn when you start studying a new language. And sometimes, starting a conversation, or continuing one, is as simple as introducing yourself. Number two, talking about the weather. This is a universal talking point. People talk about the weather all over the world. And just saying, it's really nice today, is enough to start a conversation. A great way to practice your weather conversation skills is to check out our can-do lesson pathway. This series of lessons teaches you how to talk about the weather in your target language. Number three, give compliments. 
Compliments are a great way to start a conversation. You can compliment something about your conversation partner's city, country, or something specific to them personally. Hey, your bag is super cute, or that ice cream looks delicious. These kinds of compliments can lead to further conversation about what you complimented. In this case, it could be fashion or a local restaurant. This is a great way to make quick connections with people. Number four, ask for help. For example, you can ask for directions, ask about prices, or request recommendations for restaurants or shopping spots and let the conversation go from there. People are usually happy to lend a helping hand to tourists who are visiting their city. Number five, learn phrases for transactions. This can include getting a room at a hotel or telling a taxi driver where to go. When you're traveling overseas, you'll need to talk to other people in your target language. And while this might be a bit scary at first, you'll find that the people you meet are just happy that you're trying to communicate with them. So get started talking in your target language now. For even more tips on how to start conversations, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Expand your vocabulary with our Core 2000 Words eBook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Swedish eBook before it's gone.